but in this specific session today, I'm going to cover the following areas. Um, the commonality between product and customer success teams and how we can align both teams around feedback and the feedback process. I'm going to give you just a couple of examples of some tools that you might be able to use to collect your feedback and make that easier for your teams and your customers. And I'm also going to share a four step process of how to define your feedback process. Uh, plus some bonus examples of how other product led organizations have set up their own feedback processes. And then finally, uh, you know, we're talking about a lot about feedback and collecting it, but it's really important to have something actionable and tangible off the back of this feedback. So I'm going to tie it off with uh, sharing a little bit about how to make this feedback actionable for your product teams. There's no better way of actually helping your customers to be successful than by listening and learning from them. Because if you're not actually listening and having conversations with your customers, you're really effectively just guessing and you're betting on a hunch. And with all of the um, product time, the, the development time, the sales marketing time you're spending on that hunch, it's a pretty expensive hunch. Um, but the brilliant thing is that customers are actually talking to you all the time. You're having lots of different touch points with your customers, whether that be through, like I mentioned, support tickets or sales calls or uh, feedback on your website or reviews. Customers are trying to give you more information all the time, but you really need to have all of that feedback, including doing specific user research as well, to really understand your customer problems These are the sources that I think you need to make sure that you are listening to um, and understanding, working out where customers are trying to share this information with you. Internally, a lot of these might touch different teams, like I mentioned. So calls that could be with sales calls, customer success calls. You could even have support calls if you're if you're kind enough like that. Um, support tickets as well, they'll be coming in to support team. Uh, maybe some of your technical team might be picking that up as well and working with uh, customers on that. You might do specific surveys. So if you're doing like an NPS survey, CSAT survey, or just like a survey about a specific feature, then you could be reaching out and getting feedback that way. Obviously, I've touched on user research and getting feedback from customers directly around specific areas that way. But we also have things like emails. Um, so either if you're reaching out to them and then they're responding or they've had your email because they had a call with you a few months back or last week and they're reaching out to you because they've got a, a follow-up question or something they're not sure about and same with in-app chat there's a you know intercom and lots of other in-app chats with chatbots and um, all sorts of things where I mean I know personally I always default to a to an, a chat for anything if I have any questions about a product um, so a lot of the time people will be coming there and, and, and asking questions of you or sharing feedback there. Um, so it's important to think about from your organization point of view, where do you think that the, these pieces of feedback are coming in that you could be missing or they're not joined up because they are in the uh, CRM or your support ticketing system like Zendesk, for example. But sometimes there's some concerns around having this extra process to manage, particularly if you're an organization or a product that's used at scale. Um, so that can prove a bit of a barrier sometimes for um, product led organizations kind of adopting a, a proper process. So some of these concerns include that, that feeling of it just being overwhelming. So if we make it really easy for customers to add feedback or make it clear or or have a have a way for us to process it that's just going to mean opening the floodgates we're going to have hundreds of pieces of feedback every day every week whatever it might be and it means you've got like an lots more communications to deal with i would question that and ask but is that bad like surely that's a good thing you want to hear from your customers and you want to have lots of evidence of the problems that they've got so you can make better informed product decisions <laughs> 